Hello, everyone. Happy Thursday to you. I am so sorry that I'm a tish late. I was busy getting Stitch all online for you guys because I hadn't had a chance to get the yardage done yet. Oh my goodness, look at my hair. I haven't had the chance to get the yardage done online yet. And I really wanted to have that done before uh, talking with you guys today. So I was rushing to get Stitch online. So all of the Stitch yardage is, is online. And then my little one wasn't really cooperating because <laughs> it seems like, you know, when you're in a big hurry, they can like sense that stress. And so then they just... She, she was not really cooperating. So I'm so sorry I am late and I'm not going to be able to probably go back and say hello to everyone, but let me try to catch some people. Hello, Renee, Brandy, uh, Tammy. Hello. Hello, Carla. Uh, <laughs> finally, your husband's out of the house. Hello, Deborah. I'm not going to be able to see what everybody's saying. So if there's anything really important, you might have to say it again. Hello, Sandy. Hello, Tammy. Robin, Carla, Gaylene, Trisha, Valeria. Hello, Valeria. I'm so glad you're on. I know you weren't feeling well last night. I hope you are feeling a, a bit better. Uh, <laughs> Jenny has a hangover from the party last night. Oh, my goodness. Good morning, Sue. Hello, Sharon. Hello, Morgan. Let me see. Valeria, thank you so much. You are amazing, my friend. Thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Let's see. Am I caught up yet? Sue, 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 Brandy. Valeria. I think I'm all caught up. Carrie, hello. Debbie, hello. Debbie, you've been looking around my shop this morning. I have been busy getting stuff out there. Happy birthday, Sharon. Today's the day. I knew it was coming up, but I didn't know that it was today. What is today? The 5th. Happy birthday, Sharon. I'm so glad that we are having a live stream on your birthday. So then I can tell you happy birthday in person. Well, kind of in person. I hope you're having a fabulous day in your quilt ladder that your daughter made. Oh my goodness. It was gorgeous. And do you have any special plans for today? Are you doing anything fun to celebrate? I want to know about the red flower block behind you, please. This one, Deborah. This one right here. Oh my gosh. Oh, is this one you're talking about? Uh, Sharon, hello, Nancy. Okay, so this is called, it's a wooden barn quilt. And this is the swoon block by uh, Thimble Blossoms, also known as Camille of Bonnie and Camille. And she puts them, the, um, the name of the person who does it, the name of the company that makes them is called Red Rain Boots. And you can find them either on Instagram or probably by searching online, but it's called Red Rain Boots. And they make these wooden barn quilt blocks and they're really cool. And every once in a while, once in a great while, she might have them on sale, um, but you can just order them through her shop. And she has different ones. Like I have more over here. So she has different ones. I just haven't gotten them over and hung up where I want to hang them up yet. So they just kind of lean back there against the wall. But it's by Red Rain Boots is who it's by. They're super cute. They're really um, beautiful and kind of fun to decorate your sewing space with. Um, thank you. Going out to eat tonight and sewing today. Oh, my gosh. Have a wonderful, wonderful birthday. Enjoy a little bit of time out and some sewing on top of it. Thank you for hosting last night. Angela says, Carrie, it was so wonderful yet overwhelming to see so many goodies, so many decisions to make since I can't have them all. Yes, it is hard to decide for sure because there are some good things coming. Um, Thank you, says Sharon. Okay, thanks so much. You're welcome, Deborah. 
made some really good progress on my Let It Snow trees. Thank you so much for the tutorial. You are welcome. Are you enjoying it? I think that was such a fun, this is the Let It Snow quilt that Nancy's talking about and she's making it through our quilt along. And um, I thought that was so fun to make. I'm really glad we did that quilt along. Henry is barking. It, I think it is UPS or the mail person. So one, there's a pickup or a drop off happening and that's why Henry barks. So if you hear him bark during the live stream, it's usually somebody is picking up or dropping off. Will you be able to get more songbook yardage? I ordered several yards of the trellis blue, but may need more than four yards. No question, just asking. There is a possibility I can look into it. The problem that Moda was running into, not really a problem, it's a good thing, I guess, that there was such a great response to songbook that uh, um, the cushion that they added to their order that they had manufactured has been gone through on so many things. Like so many things are sold out through Moda. So I can check on that Navy trellis one, the blue one. I know exactly what you're talking about. And I know that I am, I think maybe I have zero left. I think maybe you bought the rest of it yesterday. Um, so I can check on it. If it's available, I have no problem adding more because there are some other SKUs from that collection that I would love to get more of as well. But if it's out, then it's out. So I will follow up with you. If you don't hear from me, please just nudge me and, uh, you know, remind me to follow up on that. Um, UPS just so, ah, April, what are you getting? Love to let it snow, not got to put it all together yet. I loved it. I can't wait to get it fully finished. The group to go in a pack while well, you have yardage of it. The stitch background that Lori designed with a group. Oh, the hush. That hush collection that was done with, by like all the Riley Blake design designers. Um, I can look into that. They should have plenty of that. So I think that I can add that to our uh, inventory. That shouldn't be a problem to do that. If I forget though, Deborah, just remind me of it. April, tell me what you got. I can't remember what I just sent to you. So tell me what you got. Is it the My Happy Place quilt kit? Uh, why am I talking so high? Debbie, My Happy Place arrived today. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I have it to share with you guys today. So I will share that with you guys today. So first of all, last night we had the Riley Blake Designs uh, release party and it I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. It was really fun looking through all those collections. There are some really cute collections coming. So I'm pretty psyched about it. And then on top of it, um, oh, yes, April, you got my happy place and the songbook one, and then lots of notions. Eee, such a happy package. That's a good shipment right there. So I hope you guys had fun. And there are lots of cute collections. So last week we went through Moda, lots of cute collections from Moda. Last night we went through Riley Blake Designs, lots of fun stuff coming from Riley Blake Designs. And then to top it off, Lori Holt shows up, pops into our live stream, and she's with us while we do the preview of her two collections or two things that are coming. One is the collection, which I have the storyboard if you want to see it again, or if you didn't see it last night, I'd be happy to share it again. Um, and the other one is the granny square long stuff. Yeah, granny square long. So it was really fun to have her here when we were previewing a new collection. And she kind of was able to jump in and, um, you know, clarify some things or, or make comments about different questions that were being put out there. So it was a lot of fun to have Lori on here for that piece. I really appreciated that. So lots of fun stuff. And I am going to, I have my list. And I'm going to work on getting all of the reservations online. Again, my hope is to have it done by the end of the weekend, um, barring maybe another 15 box delivery, which I don't think is happening this weekend. But um, I know Deborah, right after Deborah said goodnight, then Lori came on. It was right after she left. Who knew? But you got to watch the video. So that was good. So I have lots of new stuff to share with you. There's lots of stuff happening in the shop. 
We got a huge delivery last weekend. I think I've already shared that with you guys. I've been cutting kits. So I have some kits that I have to share with you today. One of them is My Happy Place, which I was cutting all weekend long. The other one is Starflower Christmas Flurries and Pines, um, which is super cute. We still have some of those available in the shop. And that is by Create Joy Project is the name of the designer. It was really awesome, says Sandy, to have Lori. And I can't believe that I'm actually going to get give crocheting a try. Like I really need a new hobby. I know. That's exactly what I said to Lori. I said, you are going to have me crocheting again before I know it. And um, she's just loving it. You know, she's eating it up. She loves to see the great response from people. I mean, who wouldn't? It's fabulous to see people excited about what you're doing. And uh, she feels that. And so that's really cool. So I'm happy to be able for our happy little stitch up to be a part of uh, supporting her creative genius. I'm really, really excited about it. Thank you so much for last night's Riley Blake new release fabrics. It's all so beautiful. I agree, Jenny. Same Sandy, same. I know I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited about doing granny squares and I think my mom is going to join in maybe and do it too. So I'm excited about that too. Welcome well, love from our group also. I think so too. I hope she does. I hope she feels all the love from us. And let's see, you guys were commenting last week that you liked, oh, uh, hearing a little family updates. I don't really have too much because this week has been so busy. Um, my boys have started football, so that has been exciting for them. They're very excited about that. Um, my oldest daughter has a little bit of a break before she starts two-a-days for volleyball, so that starts in a couple weeks. So then things will really get busy again. And um, my little one's just all over the place. She was so snuggly yesterday. I think I told you last night my husband has been traveling more for his job now that things are opening up a little bit more. And so he's gone more, which really disrupts the flow of our household because he really helps out a lot with everything when I'm busy doing stuff. And, you know, when he's gone, then a lot of that falls to me. Of course, my older kids are really, really helpful with jumping in and helping out. I mean, they're kind of amazing kids with how much they help out. So I really appreciate that. Um, but with that, my little one, you know, there's just been a disruption in her life because um, uh, dad isn't here as much. And so, he, uh, she's been very clingy and really wanting mommy time. So that has been interesting to try to balance and juggle that, but also kind of soak it up and take it in because that doesn't happen very often. She's really kind of an independent kid. And so she doesn't need that a lot or doesn't request it a lot. So trying to be there for that and, uh, enjoy that while I can get it. And um, then last week, you guys, I did the Nick U quilt drop off. Did you see my post with my friend Jane dropping off all the quilts with her? She was so touched. And of course, she her favorite color is purple. And so when we took the picture, she said, I need a purple quilt. And so I grabbed the first purple one I could see. And uh, that's what we did the picture. But all of the Nick U quilts from our um, Nick U quilt drive, Little Miracles quilts, have been dropped off with uh, her and she is dropping them off at the NICU. If she hasn't already, she may have already done it. Um, and so they're out there to be given to families, which is really, really cool. And we're going to start our NICU Little Miracles Quilts round two, our second year, uh, right, right at the beginning of 2022. And we'll just give throughout the year. You don't have to save them till November. You can just kind of, we don't have to save them all for one specific date. Just as you get them done, you can donate them. Just make sure that you get a label from me. And I need to reach out to Sweetwater and hopefully they will uh, be generous enough to um, work with us on labels again this year. Um, but we're going to start around uh, our second year in 2022. So I'm excited about that. Um, Lori liked my little pillows this morning on Insta, Brandy. That's awesome. On my lunch break right now, I miss watching lives. Hello, Sophia. We miss having you here. Is Trunky Thread by Lori like a yard? No, you get like a skein of thread. 
So it's not sold by the yard. You get a whole skein. It sure looks like a lightweight yarn. Yes. So it is a, a it's not a really thick yarn. It, it is lighter weight. Love the NICU photo and can't wait to contribute next time. Yay, Carrie. Is there a recommended size the quilt should be? I think it might still say it on the home page at happylittlestitchshop.com. I'm not sure if it does or not. But um, hello, daughter. <laughs> Can you say hi? Hi. That's my oldest. She just wrote down the names for the giveaway and she was dropping them off for me to do the drawing at the end of the live stream. Um. So it's like a crib size, you know, but give or take, uh, carry is kind of what we went by. So kind of a crib size quilt, but we took all sizes as long as they're not super big, like not a throw size quilt. Uh, likely a uh, crib size is, is about the guidelines that we go by. Just place an order for stitch yardage. Ooh, you were right on the ball, Robin. I've been waiting for this. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm glad I got it out there then. It's so wonderful giving all those quotes to the Q families. I agree. I agree. Jane was really touched by it. She said, oh my gosh, these families are going to love these. They're so beautiful. And they're home, you know, they're handmade. So it it really adds an element of, um, it just adds another layer of kindness to it, you know? Lori's yarn is a cotton yarn, so different than most of the acrylics in the store, heavier than a sport weight. Um, hello there, Barbara. So glad you are here. Will it work well for the, yeah. So that's what she's using. Sue is we're going to, she's using for her granny square stitch along her chunky thread. So that's, what's going to be used. And I'm planning to put together a starter kit, including like the needles and, you know, everything you might need to get started. I'm planning to put together a granny squared a granny squared along starter kit. And that's going to be starting with Lori. The granny squared along is going to be starting with Lori in June of 2022. So it's going to be a summer project and I will have uh, kits put together for that. So fun doing NICU donations. It's a two on the weight scale, 140 yards for the regular size scale. I sew for Quilts of Valor, but we'll do one for the NICU next year. Thank you. Okay, so let's jump in because I have lots of stuff to share with you. So before I have a fall color grouping of your yarns, you know, let me look. Because she has she has some sampler packs, which are not the regular sized skein of yarn. It's just a little sampler. Um, and they're just labeled, well, all, all that's shown here is two, three, and four, but I would say sampler package number three would be your fall color one. So here is two, here's three, which I'm feeling like that is a decent fall. And then here's four. So included in two, which is right here is Sweet Mint, Peacock, Lipstick, Vivid, Pumpkin, and Denim. That's that one. Included in three is Cayenne, Autumn, Honey, Riley Gray, Linen, and Basil. And then included in the sampler pack for four is Wheat, sp wheat Butterscotch, Brick, Frosting, Spring Green, and Breezy. So... Those are the three, and there must be another a number one out there somewhere, but I don't see it. And that's just a sampler package, you know, and then these are the actual skeins of yarn. So does that answer your question? <laughs> I'll take a three. No, the, oh, will they be wooden needles? says Carla. So the crochet needles that she uses um, or the crochet hooks look like that. And they're a metal hook at the top. Well, you're here now, Jennifer. I'm glad that you are here. 
So that's what the hooks look like. And then of course, this is super cute. So I'm definitely gonna have this in the shop. And um, trying to see if this, you see the grasp? Wooden knitting mushroom, four hooks. So this we talked about last night, and then of course the tumbler and all the charms. So there's some cute stuff, there's cute stuff coming for sure. Okay, let me see. Thank you, Angela. Excited for the new craft. I know. Let's just add to our plate. The tumbler is absolutely a must. Yes, I need a second, a second or third or fourth tumbler in my life because I use them every day. <laughs> my kids are so nice. I'm going to miss them when they go back to school. They always, um, my, my husband says, take care of your mom. And uh, that's the word for them to make sure that my tumbler is filled up with ice water. So they're always filling up my tumbler for me, which I really appreciate because they don't have to do that. I'm capable of doing it myself. But um you know, my husband will joke with him he'll, they'll, and he'll say, you, we need to take good care of your mom. And so fill up her water for her. <laughs> so they do, they fill it up and keep it full for me. It is so pretty. I like the color too, Tammy. Okay. So I'm going to share with you my cross stitch stuff because I don't want it to get lost in all of the quilting stuff that's happening right now. So I really apologize that it seems like there's a lot of quilting stuff happening and I don't want cross stitch to get kind of lost in all of that. Um, but that's just what is happening right now in the moment is a lot of quilting collections are arriving. So we're kind of getting, getting bombarded with that. But I am, as I have time, trying to fit in cross stitch uh, progress on the stuff that I'm working on. So right now, my two that I'm kind of focusing on a little bit are that are handy and ready to stitch is Hometown Holidays by Little House Needleworks. And so I think I shared this with you last time. I'm doing it on Desert Opalescent. And this is what it looks like so far. Got some snow down here. I got to keep stitching my mounds of snow. And then I'm going to add my other houses along the way. Like this is the piece and it's going to, I'm going to add my other, from the first four, I'll add them in different orders along the way. But that is hometown, hometown holiday. Looking good, Angela. Carla says she's never crocheted. She knitted as a child. So my mom does crochet. My sister does knitting. And um, my mom taught me when I was younger how to crochet. I've never learned how to knit. And I've wanted to, like my sister makes really beautiful Afghans and stuff. Um, my mom crochet, crochets all the time. And sometimes even when they go south, she enters some of her doilies into stuff and she's won ribbons for them. Like she's, you know, she enjoys making them. And so then it was it, uh, just a couple years she's entered in, into stuff and then she won some, some ribbons. So I did learn how to crochet, but I have not done it. And I've definitely not done anything like this. So I would consider myself a beginner. And Lori said last night that it is for all skill levels. So she's going to go through at a beginner level and all skill levels are welcome to join in the um, Granny Square along. So I would just, anybody who is interested in making these beautiful, let me show you, these beautiful pillows and these Granny Squares, just jump in and have some fun with us next summer. I'm excited and it's perfect timing, like doing it over the summer and having kind of a a condensed summer project. I think that that's perfect. So I'm really excited about it. Oh, let me see. What is everybody saying? Um, yes. Okay. I've fallen behind. The tumbler's a must. Carla, yes, I will get sampler packs. I'm actually going to order those pretty soon. Like on my next order with Riley Blake Designs, I'm going to get that. 
I'm going to get the zippers. Yes. So Valeria is talking about this. She has a panel to this crochet bag. So this is the panel and that makes this crochet bag. And then it, she also has this little crochet hook bag to keep your hooks and, and little notions in. But the crochet bag is so cute. Look at that. So there's this panel. It's really adorable. I might need somebody to make that for, for me. I don't, I don't like making bags, but maybe with the panel, it's super easy, but I might need, I might need somebody to make that. So yes, I will get sampler packs. The bags are super cute. I'm going to have the panel. I'm going to have the crochet hook bag. I'm going to have all that stuff. Um, so Carla, even though you've never crocheted, you should still join in. It's going to be lots of fun. Um, do you have that cloth? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The desert opalescent 25 count Lugana. Yes. I have that cloth. It's in the shop. I sure do. If you need help finding it, just let me know and I'll send you a link. Valeria. Was there a date on the label for the NICUs that the Sweetwater made for your shop? And adding the year would be nice. It, there is not a date. And the reason for that is because I didn't know how it was going to go. I didn't know if we were going to go through all the labels. So I wanted the ability to be able to use them each year and not have them not, you know, be able to be used the following year because there's a date associated with it. So I did not add a date to it uh, for those reasons, but I figured people could add the date to it when they write on the label. Um, is it pretty fabric? There is an opalescent 14 or 16. Yes, Jenny, I did get your email. I'm sorry if I didn't respond. I don't think that I have yet because I haven't had a chance to look into it. I did find 14, 16 count opalescent is hard to find because I looked for a 14 count opalescent for Glitter Village and I found one that was a Charles Craft um, white opalescent. I think I can find pretty easily in 14, 16 count, but I am going to look into a 14, 16 count Ada opalescent. I'm going to do that search again. I just haven't had time to do it yet. And which is why I have not responded to you, but it is still highlighted in my inbox. If I can't get back to people right away, I keep all of those highlighted and I just keep going back when I have time and trying to, to catch up and check things off the list. Um, so yes, I'm going to look into that Jenny for 14, 16 count. All the quilting stuff is making me think I should start quilting. Cassie, there's there's not even thinking about it. Like it just needs to happen. Our table toppers for next year. Oh, you did. That's awesome. I'm still really gonna plan to make that patchwork Halloween quilt. And that would be a perfect beginner quilt. If you wanna do something really easy, just to kind of get your feet wet, you should totally quilt that Halloween quilt with me. Maybe you don't like Halloween. Pick a different um, five inch stacker that you love of a collection that you like and make a patchwork quilt with me. That's a really easy way to, to kind of get used to sewing and putting stuff together and matching up your corners and doing a quarter inch seam and all of that stuff. And it's lots of repetition. Yes, Country Cottage Needleworks does love snow. That is for sure. Good cross stitch pattern. Oh, my daughter, my oldest daughter's decision for the cross stitch pattern. She wants to do it. Um, she keeps asking me to cut cloth for her. So we need to do that. We need to figure out what size cloth she needs so that she can get started. And she better get started like now is the time when she should get started because she's going to get pretty busy pretty soon here. And then she's not going to have a lot of time for stitching. But she wants to do um, Hawk Run Hollow Halloween. <clears throat> That's what she wants to do. She is excited about it. Knitting is the only craft thing I've truly and utterly failed. Like, I'm not sure I'm teachable. <laughs> well, crochet is different than knitting. Yeah. But so you've crocheted since you're a little girl and love it. Yes. It's easier to learn crochet than knitting. I would agree with that, Morgan. I agree. Chunky thread listed, or did you say a kit would be available? Um, chunky thread is not listed because I do not have any in the shop right now. I don't have anything listed for it out there, but I will be getting some. I will do kits and I might do 
um, you know, include like a, I don't know, I'm just thinking of these things off the top of my head. I might include like a sampler kit. And so you would have your choice of sampler kit one, two, three, or four based on the colors that are in that. Just like I showed you, they have the sampler kit one, two, three, four, and there are different colors in each one. So I think when I put it online, I'll put a drop down and you can choose the color uh, scheme that you want is what I'm, that's just a quick thought that could change, but that's what I'm thinking right now. Um, crochet is very forgiving, easy to rip out and redo. Zweigart, opalescent. I would be interested in the starter pack also stitching with stitching your train station. Okay. My grandmother taught me crochet and knitting. I think you need the crochet bag and pulls to be part of the starter kit. Ooh, I might as well be right. That's a good idea, Sam. Look at you in the marketing world. That's a good idea. I'll have to look into all that and then just put everything together. You're welcome, Jenny. They sell Crylon Sparkle Paint for Hobby Lobby. The crochet panel is fabric. Yeah. Yeah. So my understanding is that this is fabric. Yep. Um, so this is new. Like, I've never seen this fabric. But, of course, this is part of her stitch collection. That'll be the inside of the bag. And then this must be something maybe she just designed for this purpose. And hmm, home deck panel. So, it, I, and I think that it's going to be made out of her home decor weight. So it's going to be that canvas, light canvas weight material, not... Um, just quilting cotton for both of these. So this little thing comes on this panel, super cute. And then this is for this bag, but it's gonna be from her, her lightweight canvas material. So yes, Jenny, it's fabric. The Halloween quilt sounds like a great idea and Halloween does have new, oh, awesome. So it's a date, we're gonna make a Halloween quilt together. Gonna have to place another order. <laughs> I love Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow too. I it's beautiful. All those Hawk Run Hollow um, cross stitches are gorgeous. I've wanted to do them. I would love to do a stitch long actually. Like just pick one and stitch through. You know, one square a month or every other month at my rate. Crochet is very easy. Undo stitches. That's why I enjoy more than knitting. Okay. So that was my hometown holiday. I got caught up. I didn't think I was going to get caught up on what you guys were saying. I made a little bit of progress on my flea market flowers. So I did, I added that flower at the bottom and I have my square ready for my other flower this month. Look at me. It's only the fifth of the month and I'm almost done with this for the month. Yay. I got that done. I actually think I started it before August was officially here. You're going to help me be a bit more well-rounded. Oh, well, I'm happy to help if I can. <laughs> Hopefully I don't mess you up, but I'm happy to ha help if you can. What is this Halloween quilt? So it's going to just going to be super easy. Elizabeth posted on Happy Little Stitchers, our Facebook group, a little um, project bag that she made out of just patchwork Halloween. It's a patchwork project bag out of Halloween fabric, and I loved it. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I need a quilt like that. I need a Halloween patchwork quilt, which then led to the discussion of Halloween fabric at Happy Little Stitch Shop and how I did not really have a collection this year. And I felt like I kind of dropped the ball on that. And so then I started looking at Halloween fabric that is still available out there. And Spooky Hollow by Melissa Mortensen is adorable and has some purple in it, which I really wanted to include in my patchwork Halloween quilt. I'm gonna focus mine as black, orange, white, and purple. And uh, so I ordered Spooky Hollow. So Spooky Hollow is in the shop and I keep forgetting to bring it in here to show you guys, but it does actually exist at Happy Little Stitch Shop. It's in the shop, it's called Spooky Hollow and I got different bolts of yardage. There's also charm packs 
And that's the really easy way to go, Cassie. I would, if, if you like that collection and you like Halloween, I would get the charm pack or two, depending on the size that you want it to be. Um, and, uh, then you just have to sew those squares together, like figure out how you want your design to go, where you want your squares to go. And then you just sew the rows and the columns together. And it's super easy. Um, so that led to this Halloween quilt that I'm now going to be making, Sam, a patchwork Halloween quilt from the Spooky Hollow collection. And the flea market stitch. Can't wait to get started on it. Yes, the denim blue is so pretty. A friend around a mail with me. So strong. Oh, nice. That's awesome, Deborah. I'm making a little tape and runner. I saw that. I saw your first block yesterday. It was darling out of the fabric that you purchased. I was like, hey, I just cut that up for her. For her. It's so fun to see what you guys do with stuff once you get it. That's a good idea. Yeah, Brandy, I'm excited about it because I don't have a Halloween quilt and I really love Halloween. Um, so I'm pretty excited about it. I'm also kind of debating in my head as if I have time to do it. Uh, the kitty corn panel with that adorable cat on it. I'm thinking about just putting some backing on that and having a little Halloween quilt for my little one in her grand bed. Because um, I think it's the perfect size. It would be perfect for that. It would be quick easy to do. And then she'd have a fun Halloween quilt. So I'm thinking about that as well. How big am I going for the Halloween quilt? So the patchwork quilt that I made for my little one is about 60 by 60. And so I kind of liked that size. Of course, I added some borders to that. But I think, you know, I like a, a night and just, we're just going to use it for the couch, like just to have it out for the fall. It's not going to go on a bed or anything. So I'm thinking 60 ish by 60 ish, depending on how the math works out with the squares that I'm doing. So like that, what would that be? Four and a half. So it'd be 12, uh, 14, 15. 15 by 15, 15 squares by 15, something like that. So then you'd need 15. 15 oh, that'd be, that's a lot of squares. <laughs> so you need a fair amount of, without borders, if you add borders, you won't need that many. And when I made my daughter's patchwork quilt, that's kind of how I figured it out. So as not to waste charm squares from the charm packs that I used for hers, so I kind of did the calculations to figure out, okay, I think I used two charm packs for that. And then to get it to the size that I wanted it to be, I just added borders around the outside. I think I added a smaller one and then a bigger one to get it to be around 60 by 60. Yeah, so I think that's going to, so if you do all patchwork, so... 15 across by 15. Ooh, that'd be a lot of charm packs because that would be divided by 42. You'd need, if you were doing all patchwork, you'd probably need six charm packs in order to do that. But if you do, so 42, I'd have to figure it out. And I, I do have notes written down for the one that I made. I swear I made it out of two, maybe three charm packs and then added borders around the outside. But I have notes and I'll have to go back and look. How big will one charm pack make? A, one charm pack probably won't make very, very big. Because by the time you sew it, the five inch square is actually going to be a four inch square, right? No. Half and half, a four and a half inch square. So I'd have to do some math. I can't do it on the fly. I have to like sit down and actually think about it and put some effort into it. But I can tell you next time how much one or two, and I don't have my book in here. It's in the other room. So I'll have to figure that out and I'll have to look back at the, 
um, I did actually take notes on that one when I made it. So I'll have to look back at that. Okay. So that's what I have going on for cross stitch. We're excited about granny squared. We're also very excited about this. Oh, pay no attention to those B plaids by Lori Holt. Pretty excited about that. Um, unless you put a background. Yeah. 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 And you can mix it up with other squares too. And then you make it stretches your charm pack a little further. I'm not sure if I said Cassie <laughs> because I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants right now. And um, everything's starting to arrive. And so quilt alongs that we had scheduled for earlier were delayed because fabric was delayed. And so now I really have to sit down and look at what is going on. Because we had talked about starting our Mary and Brightly quilt along in September but songbook is now here. And so that there's a potential that we could start that in September. Um, I would like to have the Halloween quilt done before Halloween, because I'd like to be able to enjoy it this year. So that really probably puts it in September. Um, so I need to sit down and wrap my head around it. So here's what I'll do. I'll sit down, I'll wrap my head around it. I will figure out what kind of supplies are needed so that I can share that with you guys. I'll either do a post about it or I'll share, share it in happy little stitchers and um, set a date for when I'm going to have, it won't take long. Like it should go quickly. I just need time to sit down and, and actually do it. And then I'll put videos out there too. And maybe that will help having a visual with what's going on. Um, what do you think about that, Cassie? Yeah, Carla, that's what I'm thinking is uh, to do a little video. Like it won't be very long because it's not going to be very detailed, but um, I could do a video if you guys feel like that would be helpful to have that out there. Okay, so let's go through the stuff that we got in the shop. Here we go. Um, first up, these. Could you do gingham windows with charm packs? Oh... So that's called, it calls for layer cakes. Um, I'd have to look at that pattern. I have not looked at the pattern and I've never made that one. I've made uh, a similar one, which is also a layer cake pattern called uh, prep school picnic. Um, but I know that gingham windows calls for a layer cake in it. So I'd have to look at it and see if a charm pack could be substituted. I don't know. <laughs> it's true. That's the other thing that's going to be tricky, Tammy, is coordinating that with him being gone more often. It is going to be tricky to, we're going to have to really plan out our uh, sessions so that my video person is here. Okay, I'm gonna to be too scared to start without seeing someone else do it first. It's gonna be so easy. It's gonna, it's just gonna be great. The biggest thing that you're gonna run into a problem with is your quarter inch seams probably, and then lining stuff up. And uh, I like Sam, I caught Sam's um, story the other day, the 10, 10 by 10 rule, is that what it was called, Sam? I can't remember. But she posted something that this is a good rule of thumb when you are quilting. If you can't see it from 10 feet away going 10 miles an hour, then you're good. <laughs> like, don't sweat the small things. Don't sweat all of the things that might not be lining up just perfect. Some of that you just need to let go and just have fun with it and keep going with it. And it will get better the you, that you do it. Oh, okay. You've got your spray bottle in your cart. What was the quote with the squares? You showed it a while ago. Was it was it one that I had made, Elizabeth? If it was one that I had made, it was probably prep school picnic. That's one that I'll use again and again. That's a great pattern. I love it. It's by Diary of a Quilter, also known as Amy Smart. I will that I will use that pattern again and again. So if it's one that I made, then it was probably prep school picnic, Elizabeth. One charm pack. Oh, Sharon, thank you. Sharon says one charm pack makes a 30 by 35 
inch quilt, three charm packs makes 40 by 75, four packs makes 55 by 75, five makes 60 by 80, seven makes 80 by 90. Yeah, Elizabeth, so if it used to hang on the wall, it was prep school picnic. Very similar feel to gingham windows. They're, they feel very similar, but they're different, but similar. <laughs> so it's prep school picnic. Rules of 10, yes. We used to have a 30-foot rule in costuming. See? Yeah, you got to let some of that stuff go. For my cat hair ends up on my cross stitch. Oh, I will have I will I will have plenty. Hello, Stacy. Yes, prep school picnic. I do sell that pattern. Prep school picnic should be in stock. If it's not, if you guys ever find stuff that's not in stock, just let me know because that's one that I will will for sure reorder. Um, and sometimes I'm not aware that stuff isn't in stock. And so if you if you let me know, then I'll know. So I have so many of these, you guys, because I ordered a ton of them, hoping that they would arrive in time to go into your joy box. That was my plan. And so as you know, we had hundreds of joy boxes go out. These didn't arrive in time. So now I have a lot of these in the shop. So if you know of anybody and their children who need a Mr. Bottle by um, Lori Holt, please send them to Happy Little Stitch Shop because we have so many of them here. So it's super cute. I'm excited to, I'm tempted to open this up. I'm excited to get some stuff in mine and have some time to sew with it, to use it. Oh, it's so good. You fit two fingers on there. That's one of the things that they say in the description. So this is... The Misting Bottle by Lori Holt. And it's here. It's in the shop. Ooh, Sue. Is anybody stitching fall in the air? We could buy and use for Christmas gifts. For sure you could. Okay, also in the shop. I think I've shared most of these before. We have the charms from Stitch. We have a lot of, I have a lot of Stitch stuff to share today, along with a few other things, but Stitch has really hit Happy Little Stitch Shop. This is a bunch of this stuff is what was in those 15 boxes that arrived last weekend. So we have the little spool charms. We also have this one I really love, and I am would love to put this on a project bag. Uh, this is the Stitch charm from the collection. It's actually called a keychain. So when you look for it and, and you are confused because it's not showing up under charms, uh, it's actually, the description is a keychain. So those are those. And then we got the ladies in. So we have the pink lady uh, charm. We have the red vintage lady charm and we have, um, is this one aqua? I'm not sure. Aqua. Yeah. Aqua vintage lady charm. So the ladies are all here at happy little stitch shop. So all of those charms are in. And then I had been asked to restock the prim or fill thread. Ooh, maybe I should put it on my keys, Stephanie. That's a good idea. Oh, Tammy, that would be awesome. I could never have too many project bags. Really, Carla? I know the lady charms are pretty cute. So uh, somebody asked me to get this back in stock. So I did. It is now restocked. And here are the threads that are in the Prim Orofil collection. They're so pretty. I opened one of these yesterday and my daughter was like, ooh, those are so pretty. And then for those of you who were like, 
we, we've talked a lot about the Be Happy thread collection. So there's a really large Be Happy Orophil thread by Lori Holt, which has a ton of thread in it. Like that would probably last you a lifetime. But the price point is really high. So it's really an investment if you decide to go that route. But there's also this little Happy Colors um, thread pack. So it's again, it's an Orophil thread, smaller, more... Um, more affordable. And here are the pretty colors that are in this one. No, Robin. Nope. The charms and the keychains are not magnetic. They cannot be used as a needle minder. So Happy Colors is in the shop. It's a little, little small thread, thread pack. Then I also have the 10 and a half inch square trim it ruler by Lori Holt has arrived. It's in the shop. So this is Aura, it's, it's machine thread. It's Aura fill. It's not Aura floss. So it's not floss. It's, it's thread. So the 10 and a half by 10 and a half trim it square ruler, trim it square ruler is in the shop. We have the 10 by 10 stitch design board. This is in the, the ditzy gray, I think is what it's called. That thread is for machine, not cross stitch, right? That's right, Barbara, it's for machine, not cross stitch. <laughs> so here is the ditzy gray 10 by 10 inch design board. Oops, I pulled two of them. And here is the green uh, blossom. I think it's called blossom green, 10 inch design board. We also have the 14 inch design board, but from Stitch. This is in Cottage Daisy Chain. You can see that. This is also the binding that is on our My Happy Place quilt. And then we have the Daisy Ditsy. 14 by 14 inch design board. And then we have the stitch flower steel or gray. I can't remember what it's called. Um, maybe it's called nutmeg. I don't think so. I think this is the steel one. Uh, 18 by 18 inch design board in gray. And then an 18 by 18 inch design board in coral. So all of the design boards are in the shop. So many of them. Do you happen to have any fig tree fabric? Yes, I have pumpkins and blossoms in the shop, Sue. It's beautiful. Pumpkins and blossoms by fig tree is in the shop right now along with some pre-cuts of that. Uh, maybe some fat quarter bundles, for sure, charm packs, mini charms. I'm not sure if I have layer cakes. On her rulers again. So the trim it ruler, this one is used to trim up blocks. So if you have a block, like my little mitten block, except I would use a, six and a half inch trim it ruler. So you put this, you know, you put the ruler over it and then it shows you how you can center it so that it's all lined up correctly. This aqua part around the outside is your quarter inch seam allowance. So you know that I don't want to put it over here and trim it up because that's that quarter inch seam is going to eat into my mitten and I don't want that to happen. So if this were a regular set, like if this were a 10 and if I was trimming this to a 10 and a half inch size, it would help you because you can see through it. It helps you to line everything up. Then these two marks also help you to square it up in the, in the center when you're lining it up. And then all you have to do is trim around all four sides. So this is the trim it, the blue ones that are the trim it rulers are perfect for squaring up blocks. Um, and she has them in all the sizes you know, six and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half, nine and a half for every block size that you could possibly think of. She has a trim it ruler for it. And I'm slowly trying to add those 
to the shop with each of my orders that I place. Brandy, funny you should ask that because um, I just got notification that some are shipping to me. So I've had them on order for a very long time and they were on back order again and delayed and like, you're not going to get them for months. And then all of a sudden today, out of nowhere, I got notification that um, some of them are shipping to me and I didn't look closely to see if it's the big one or the smaller one. Uh, cause there's only one of them, the other one's still delayed and on back order, but the ones that they have available, whether it be the big one or the small one are shipping to me now. So the pink ones are just for trimming up, you know, like the, the pink, this part is a half inch measurement. So it just tells you where a half inch is, but this is just for using like a, regular ruler. So I use this one a lot for trimming up my cross stitch for my pillows so that you know how you, when we make these pillows, we do like three fourths of an inch um, outside of your stitch area is where you cut your cloth. And these are small and manageable. So it's perfect for, I use it a lot for trimming up cross stitch fabric for smaller pieces like this. I use it all the time for my pillows. So this is just like a regular ruler. And then the green ones, I'm not really sure. I'd have to look at those. I know that we have, do I have a green one in here? I don't think so. Oh, I do have a green one. So this one... I'm not sure what the difference is. I I have down the blue for sure. Um, and the pink, that's what I use that for. I really liked it. Lori did, she went through the blue one in one of her videos. I think it'd be super helpful if she went through all of her rulers and just kind of did a quick run through of the intention behind it because it's not, I think that she made each one with a specific function in mind in order to, you know, have more accurate cutting and all of that. So each one has a specific purpose to it. And I think it would be really helpful for her to just do a little snippet on um, what her intention was when she designed them the way she did. Cause she went through it a little bit with the blue one. And I found that really helpful. I was like, Oh, because oftentimes I was trying to use it like a creative grids ruler and the intention is not to be used like a creative grids ruler. And so then I was getting very confused. I was like, this is not, this doesn't make sense. These markings don't make sense. I don't understand. And then I kind of veered away from her rulers. I'll be honest with you because I didn't understand how to use it. And now that I understand the blue rulers are specifically for trimming up blocks. Now I'm like, oh, well, I like it. And especially with hers, because oftentimes she does applique and you're going to want that applique to be squared up right in the center. And those X's on her rulers really help with that, you know, so that you can, so that you can have it perfectly squared based on all of these lines. And sometimes with the creative grids ruler, you could make do with that but it gets confusing because there are so many markings on it and it's hard to really see what you're squaring up in the center. So now that I have a better understanding of how to use these rulers, the blue ones, because I watched it in her video, I'm like, oh, well, that's perfect. And so now I really like them for those purposes. She showed how to use them in the past video with the half square triangles. Oh yeah, I know. And that was another purpose for it that I hadn't where she used this triangle. I did happen to catch that. Uh, I don't see all of what she's doing, but I do try to catch stuff here and there. But she uses these triangles to square up her half square triangles. It was just, it was perfect. It was, I, it really made sense to me when she went through and showed it. And I was like, oh, that's perfect. I agree the blue ones are awesome, but confused about the others. Yeah, so it would be helpful. I think to under have a better understanding of how to use the green and the pink ones. Cause I know, you know, I mean, she's a very smart lady. So I know that there is a purpose behind it. And I just think that I'm not understanding the intention of it. And once I understand that, then I'll be on board with it. And then I can uh, explain it to others. 
which would be helpful. All right, these are back in stock. Both of the beekeeper binders back in stock. These have been flying out the door, which means that all of you guys are getting your so simple shapes all organized and I love it. So those are back in stock. <clears throat> all right, let's take a little stitch break. And I'm gonna show you, this is part of the bundle of fabric that you get um, in the Flurries and Pines quilt kit. So this collection is called Starflower Christmas. And I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna show you these fabrics to give you a taste of what Starflower Christmas is. We have yardage in the shop. And I think I have a few um, Flurries and Pines quilt kits left for anybody who's interested. If you like this fabric, that quilt is adorable. I meant to pull the pattern and I didn't. Let me see if I can pull it up here. <clears throat> so I've been cutting this one uh, this last weekend. Here's the Flurries and Pines quilt. Again, it's using the fabric collection called Starflower Christmas by Create Joy Project for Moda Fabrics. And here is the quilt called Flurries and Pines. And here are all of the little pieces that you get. <clears throat> I mean, this fabric is really kind of pretty. It has very much a watercolor feel to it. <clears throat> but the colors, you guys, the colors are gorgeous. So again, this is Starflower Christmas. I think these snowflake prints are beautiful. Perfect for backing. I think this one's in aqua. I think this one is called teal. This one is green. We have some of that in the shop. Some snow, I think this one's called flurry in green. This one is called Frost, I think. Doesn't it look like Frost? And then that's in green as well. These are the pine trees. We have some berries and then a red fabric as well. So that's for flurries and pines and that is in the shop right now. And Starflower Christmas is also listed in the shop right now. <clears throat> Aren't those pine trees so cute? I thought they were really pretty. <clears throat> okay, now let me show you Ooh, what else I have here. Well, okay, I'll continue with Stitch. Hold on. All right, so Stitch is in the shop. I have pre-cuts listed in the shop. I have all the yardage as of like, 20 minutes ago, oh, an hour ago. <clears throat> I have all the yardage listed in the shop. <clears throat> so we have charm packs. We have some roly polies. Or jelly rolls, whatever you like to call them. We have fat quarter bundles listed in the shop. Look at that. I mean, it's just pretty just to display it. And for the My Happy Place quilt kit, you get this chunk of fabric right here and the Fat Quarter Bundle. So this is your My Happy Place quilt kit. It is a lot of fabric, a lot of fabric. And okay, I'll show you some yardage from the Stitch Collection. I haven't even taken it out of the bag yet. Stitch does have a cheater fabric. Yes, it sure does. Barbara, I have it listed online. I did not pull it to share with you because my daughter grabbed these <laughs> and uh, she just grabbed the ones that she really liked. So excited, Stacy! So this one is called Cayenne and I think it's floral bouquet or something like that. So that's listed in the shop. The Stitch cheater print is listed in the shop. This one is called Square, I think, Stitch Square. And this color is teal. 
So that one's really pretty. You can kind of tell what colors my daughter likes. This one is the same as the edge of the design board and it's green. I think it's bloom. I can't remember what it's called. I know, Sandy, I can't wait for you to get it too. Yes, and it is going to be a, a large box for sure. And it's packed to the brim. I remember packing it up yesterday. And we have the pink ladies from Stitch. It's called Vintage Ladies and it's actually frosting, I think. Yeah, I always call them pink ladies because there they are. <clears throat> And she has some text fabric. So this one is in Vivid. She also has a cloud one of all sorts of, sorts of stitching text. It's so pretty. It says stuff like press, stitch, uh, measure, yarn, embroidery, knitting. Wouldn't it be fun if she put Happy Little Stitch Shop <laughs> in there? Oh my gosh, that'd be so cool. This one is called Grandma Sofa and it's in Cottage. This one also comes in Daisy. Mine too, Stacy. I love her text fabric, especially the ones with multicolor. I love the multicolor ones. Um, so that's it for the yardage that I pulled to share with you from Stitch, but all of the yardage is listed in the shop. I just pulled a little sampling, or my daughter did, to be able to share with you today. And then, the other big thing that was taking up my time, and you probably saw, oh, sorry, you just went for a little ride. You probably saw um, my bench full of boxes and boxes and boxes of songbook, Guiding Stars quilt kit is here. It's in the shop. Um, most of these, I, all of them were sold before it even arrived. Uh, and I can check to see if I can get more if there's interest. I have started a waiting list in case any of all of those boxes I had fall through. All of them have been shipped except for five, I think. So I have five that are still here and uh, I'll give those people some time and I have a waiting list started. So if you are interested in the songbook quilt kit, um, please reach out and let me know and I can add you to the waiting list. So let's take a peek what's inside this box. You get the pattern and then you get this bundle of beautiful fabric, including the panels and lots of fabric. It's so pretty. I can't wait to make this with you guys. And so I'm kind of debating right now about maybe trying to start in September sometime. Maybe like not right at the beginning of September, but it might be more towards the middle of the month. I don't know. It's so pretty. Tammy, you're gonna love it when you, um, when you get it. So this is Songbook. We're doing a quilt along for this, hopefully to start next month, but I will keep you posted about that. Um, Oh, I forgot to pull the other thing. Oh, I forgot to show you this. So here's a stitch layer cake. We have a few of those in the shop. And also back to songbook, we have the mini charms listed in the shop. We have the charm packs listed in the shop. And here's the fat quarter bundle, although I believe that I am sold out of these but I just wanted to share it with you to show you the beautiful fabric. I mean, this collection is really pretty. I knew that I liked it once we got really excited about it on, on our new release party, but it is so much prettier than I imagined it would be. Like, look at that. This leaf print might be one of my favorites. It's just pretty, pretty, pretty. And the navies in this collection have gotten so much love. There's that trellis one you were talking about. 
I will look into that. Bud and Bloom, Leaf Dream. Hashtag, I can't remember what that one's called. T tally, total, tally, I think it's tally something. So, so pretty. I could just show you that all day. So pretty, but pre-cuts and yardage for songbook are in the shop. Hello, Melanie. I just finished binding two quilts, nice. Glad I reserved the fat quarter bundle and the kit. I'm glad you did too, because I mean, with the way that fabric is going right now, you reservations are your friend because then it's secured. Then, you know, you've got it and uh, knock on what wood, <laughs> barring any bad things happening. That's always my biggest fear as a shop owner. Like I hear from a manufacturer and they say, okay, well this fell through. And I think, no. So I pray and have all my fingers and toes crossed that that never happens. But reservations are your friend because we're seeing right now that a lot of fabric is gone by the time it, it releases. It's spoken for and it's gone. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Okay. Then the other thing that has, has arrived as far as pre-cuts go, yardage is still coming. I haven't gotten notification that it's shipped yet, but it should be coming very soon, is Christmas Morning by Lello Boutique. Yes, Martha, that praise quilt kit is so beautiful too. You are welcome. I think that backing is going to look really, really pretty. Glory skies. It's going to be beautiful. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm glad she got her praise panel. Good. So Christmas Morning by Lella Boutique is gorgeous. This is another one, especially the red. I've like fallen in, lo in love with her red. It has, it's just, it's very rich. It's like a rich red color. It's so pretty. So this collection is another one where I'm like, what can I make from this? Because I think it would be beautiful. These are all so, so pretty. The doves, the grays, the greens. It's so pretty. So I have some layer cakes in the shop. I have fat quarter bundles, which I forgot to pull, but they are here. Um, I think I have charms and mini charms. And the panel has arrived. So for those of you who reserved the Peace on Earth panel from Christmas morning, the invoices have been sent. If you paid for it, it's shipped. Um, and I think we have a few left in the shop. So if you like the Christmas morning Peace on Earth panel, grab it at happylillstitchshop.com. It's so pretty. I would really be happy to make something with that collection. It's one of her most, it is, it's beautiful. I love it. Lollipop Garden was one of my favorite Lolo Boutique lines. I love that collection. I don't know what it was about it, but I was just really drawn to that collection. But this one is beautiful. Like it's just very simple. You know, the colors are very classic, very simple colors. And, um, you know, it's not like overwhelming with so many different colors in the collection. It's just very simple. And the colors are very classic colors. And the prints are classic, not overwhelming. It's just, it's lovely. It's really lovely. Um, the Brightly pattern. You mentioned you were going to make it. What fabric are you planning? For the Brightly, I was planning on Marion Bright. Because that's another one that I love. But for a different reason. Like Marion Bright feels very traditional Christmas. Very there's a little bit of whimsy to it. And so it's kind of fun. And so I liked Brightly to kind of show that off. For this one, I would love to make a quilt out of it, but I would love to do, you know, more of a classic. This feels like more of a classic collection, like just beautiful, very, very pretty. Um, and so I would love to find a very kind of classic uh, pattern to use for this collection. Does that make any sense? Like they just, I love them both, but for different reasons. And Mary and Bright is so fun and I love it. Um, it's very traditional colors, which I love about it, but they're different collections. They're very different. The 
brightly pattern work with that collection? I think it could. Yeah, I think it could. Um, I think it could. I think I would love to see somebody do it in that. Um, I would have to look. I don't know what that would be great with. Like, I, ha I don't know. I, I haven't found the pattern yet that I feel like, ooh, that would go really well with Christmas morning. I need to think about that. Lella Boutique probably has pattern out there that I just have not seen that would be beautiful with it. I would have to look back through her patterns because she, Lella Boutique has fabulous patterns. I really love some of the patterns she puts together. I use her panels for quilt backing. Love her reversible quilt. That's perfect. It's very subtle. I'm going to use her figgy pudding pattern. Ooh, figgy pudding. She just posted about that. That might be a good one. Figgy pudding. I think she, she just did a post on that. One is cutesy and one is classy. Yes, yes, exactly, Jennifer. But I love them both for different reasons. Like, this is why I am a lover of fabric. Like, I don't, I love so many different kinds of fabrics. And it doesn't, I don't have to be like all classic or all fun. I love like all of it. I could just have fun with all of it. Ooh, nice. Figgy pudding. Okay, I'll have to look into that. Okay, I think that's all I have for you. Christmas morning was the last. So songbook, Christmas morning, Stitch, Starflower Christmas, all arrived. And now I've gotten notifications for like the next round of stuff coming. <laughs> it all makes me very nervous. I'll be honest with you. When all of these packages arrived over the weekend, you guys can imagine because you know that I get a little anxious about some of that. And so I was like, oh my gosh. So much stuff is all of a sudden arriving. You feel that um, stress creep in a little bit. Songbook, favorite collection of the year. So pretty. And it is flying out the door. I will be honest. The yardage is just, I will see about trellis. I will see if I can get some more of that. I will see if I can get some more of the other ones that I thought were so pretty. Um, but it's, it's going fast. So grab it while you can. Okay, let's do our giveaways. Is there anything else I'm forgetting to tell you guys? I know, I know, that's the problem. It's like really fun to get all this stuff, but then the reality hits you like, okay, somebody's gotta pay this bill. <laughs> so, so then that's when it starts to creep in. Like, you know, space is an issue, time is an issue, and then, you know, finances are a never ending issue. So the reality starts to creep in and you kind of feel yourself tense up. And then my husband says, it'll all be fine. Just take a deep breath. And then, you know, I calm down a little bit until it hits me again. Okay. So last week, this is for this week. Okay. So for last week, this was the giveaway. Stacy, I still have yours here. Stacy, are you still on here? I hope I didn't miss an order to put your thing in with it. Did I? You haven't placed an order, have you? <laughs> I could, hmm. Otherwise, I'll have to get that out the door to you because I know we talked about it. Um, I do not, Robin, I do not have any Let It Snow quilt kits left. I'm sold out of all of it. The only real... Um, I might be able to make you one up. Somebody else asked about it too. And I looked and they do still have layer cakes left. I was concerned that the layer cakes were going to be gone because that's what you need for the quilt. And uh, I was concerned that they were going to be sold out, but they are not. And I think layer cakes are the only thing I need. I have yardage. I think I have patterns. So I can look into that for you, Robin. If you're serious about it and you really want one, send me an email at happylittlestitchshop.com and I will look into getting some layer cakes to make some. Thank you, Deborah. Yes, you sure do. Oh, well, darn it, Stacey. I had it in another room. So I'm going to have to get your little bundle of goodies to you um, separately because I forgot to include it in your package. So sorry about that. Um, did you get my email on Flea Market Flowers? I did get your email on Flea Market Flowers. 
I need to just take some time to look into that and figure out what I need to get in order to make up a kit. So I think it's possible. I think it's for sure possible because I think there's a lot of flea market yardage still out there to be gotten. And um, I just need time to, to look at, look at it and kind of delve into it and figure out what I need and what I have and what I need to get and all of that stuff. But as always, if I don't, if you don't hear from me in a reasonable amount of time, just nudge me and it will push it to the front of my list of stuff to do. It'll put it back on my radar because I don't like making you guys wait, but it is, it, it is taking a little bit longer than maybe it did six months ago. So just never hesitate to send me another email because it usually it's on my radar and it either just got pushed down a little bit. And so I always appreciate a nudge. Like I'm never going to take offense to that. So just send me an email and remind me that I need to be working on that. Okay. So the, the giveaway that we're doing this week is cross stitch related. So we have the Pennsylvania Dutch sampler. This is a fun, who was it? Um, Carla or Jenny, somebody was talking about a monochromatic uh, stitch. And so this would fall into that category. And then you get a little, uh, this was donated to us by Kim. You get a little bag to put your needles and stuff in, like a needle keeper and a little notion keeper. And then you get a happy little stitch shop needle minder. So that's what we're drawing for today. And let me show you quick what the draw for will be for next week. So you need to answer the question in order to qualify for the prize. So there's a question in the description uh, box below. After the video ends, make sure you comment in the comment section and answer to the question. The question for this week is what are your top three fabric collections that we have previewed over the last week that you are most looking forward to? What are your top three fabric collections that you are most looking forward to? And once you answer that question, you also need to be sure you're subscribed to Happy Little Stitch Shop YouTube channel. Please follow Happy Little Stitch Shop on Facebook and Instagram. Please give this video a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up to help our little Stitch Shop um, channel grow. And comment on the question. And then you will be entered into a drawing to win this. For next week, this is the... Um, prize. Number one, you are getting a charm pack of Sister Bay by three, by, yeah, three sisters. This is Sister Bay by three sisters for Moda. And you're getting a goodie bag from Moda. And inside this bag is all sorts of goodies. You get some stickers. You get a, an acrylic ruler. You get... A, a little, look at this. Oops, look at that. It's a little uh, thread needle keeper. Oh my gosh, if I could open it with one hand. You know what I mean? You have can put your stuff in there. So that comes in there. You get some uh, little sew on patches. You get a little Moda notebook. And then these are some stickers that you also get. Those and those. So you get a little Moda goodie bag along with the Sister Bay charm pack. So that is going to be the prize for next week. So please be sure, thumbs up, subscribe, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, comment below. Then the winner for this week, let's do this quick, is... Vanessa Hale. Vanessa Hale, you have won this little prize bundle. Please email me at happylittlestitchshop at gmail.com to claim your prize. And then, Vanessa, I will get this out the door to you. Congratulations, Vanessa. I'm so excited for you. That would be so great for Christmas morning. I'm going to have to look at it now, Sue. Congratulations, Vanessa. Now, you guys, I'm thinking about, I think next week is the last week before my daughter starts uh, volleyball. So I'm thinking about having a stitching time next week with you guys. So instead of pulling out a bunch of stuff to share with you, 
I'm thinking about just sitting and stitching. And the reason that it's important for my daughter to be able to be here is because she will be able to read what you guys are saying to me so that I can stitch and chat with you at the same time. What do you guys think of that? Would you like to do that? I was thinking it would be fun to um, do that before the summer ends so then I can utilize her being here, number one. And number two, to just kind of touch base about, you know, what you think about Happy Little Stitch Shop, what things you would like to see happen now that we're more than halfway through the year, what kinds of things you would like to see implemented at the shop, what you like, what you don't like, so that we can constantly try to improve what we're doing and make your experience a better one if we are able to. Some of it might be out of our control for right now, but if we're able to, we would love to do that. And then I can get some stitching done while I'm chatting with you guys, which would be awesome. I'll pick something to stitch. So let's see. Oh, that would be fun. Love the idea. And can we meet her? I'm not sure about that. I will need to talk to her father about it. We're usually pretty private with the kids, um, but I will see. We'll see about that. Has she decided to do that stitch she was eyeing? She has. She would love to do it, and she just wants me to stop what I'm doing and take time to cut some cloth for her, and then she's going to start stitching that. Stitching time sounds great. Would love a stitch along. Oh, good. <coughs> good. Then we're going to try to do that next week. The only thing that we need to figure out is if we have the equipment to make it happen. Because um, right now I always use my computer. And so I can see, you know, you guys, I can see what's being said over here. So it would be a little bit different setup for me to be stitching and have her be able to read. But I don't think this computer camera flips. So I have to figure out like all that stuff and figure out how to do it. But um that's what I'm thinking about for next week to kind of just take a slow down, take a breather, just spend, you know, an hour or so with you guys stitching and chatting about stuff. And if not, you can have a sale with leftovers of gen to generate income for the next new batch. Yes. Yes. And actually be sure you're subscribed to our newsletter because I am starting to think about putting little sales in into those newsletters and, you know, you're, you're going to get information first and get dibs on things first the more that you're involved with our community. So if you're following us on Instagram and Facebook, that's fabulous. If you're subscribed here, you're probably going to get more information than you do on Instagram or Facebook. If you're part of our Happy Little Stitchers group or a Stitching with Lori group, um, you're going to get, you know, tidbits of information here and there. And if you subscribe to our newsletter, you're likely going to get uh, information about deals uh, first. Oh, good. Hope she likes it. Keep her secret because I completely like the idea of kids being protected. I do too. I do too. Next Friday is World Cross Stitching Day. Ooh. So Kim, you told me that. Who told me that? I got an email from somebody about that. So then that makes me feel like maybe we do our regular live on Thursday. And then on Friday, we have a special World Cross Stitching Day Stitching time. What do you guys think of that? Maybe she can just say hi. We can associate. Yes. You'll for sure hear her voice because she'll be talking and reading to me what you guys are saying. Could she watch live stream from her phone and read? Oh, yeah. That could work, I think. I think so. I think that that could work. Yes, Kim, you did tell me that. Yes, we can all stitch. Okay, so that could be really fun. I totally forgot that you had told me that. Um, uh, that could be a lot of fun to all be stitching together on World Cross Stitch Day. So that's, when is that? Next week on Friday. Next Friday. Okay. So let's plan that. Let's have our regular live stream on Thursday at 1.30. And then we will do World Cross Stitching Day stitching together. Um, and do you guys prefer normal time at 1.30 or do you prefer an evening time? I feel like normal time might be better for Friday. That's a great idea too. Well, the stitching one, that won't really be work because I'll just grab my stitching stuff and I'll get to just hang out with you guys and stitch. I won't have to like prepare everything else. So yes to whatever works for you. It sounds fun, fun. I love the Friday idea because I have Friday afternoons off. Oh, perfect. Okay. 
So let's plan next week. We'll do two. We'll meet together for our normal live stream on Thursday at 1.30. And then we'll do a Friday one at 1.30. And you might need to remind me on Thursday. I'm okay with whatever works best for the majority. So that's the plan. Thank you so much, you guys, for being here with me again today, less than 12 hours after you were with me last night for such a long time. And uh, I'm excited about next week. I'm excited about taking a little breather and stitching with you guys. That'll be a lot of fun. And it, we might find out that we need to do that more often. I might find out that I need to do that more often. So thank you so much for being here with me today. Please be sure to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our Happy Little Stitch Up YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our Happy Little Stitch Up newsletter. And congratulations to Vanessa for winning your prize. Please contact me to claim your prize. All of you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And I will see you next week. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Happy stitching.